Hello everybody, this is Budridge. Thunar, apply layout the parser. So this is like uh, part two now in the apply layout functionality that we are trying to create. Uh, and we will, in this video, create the parser that will parse the deed rules file that we uh, created uh, in the last video. And that the rules files, if you remember, uh, it's uh, located inside uh, uh, dot config slash thunar. Uh, let's open that directory just so we all are on the same page, you know. Here is that the rules file, and that is what I have open here. I let's close both of these. This is that the, it's the same file here. <clears throat> so this is what we are going to parse. Um, we need to create a script, parse rules. Uh, let's do that right away. Uh, parse rules.sh, create a shebang, uh, usr bin env b dash echo parser save uh, parse rules ah, we don't have made it executable there parser now we have a script to work with uh, because we need to, to add to create this uh, external script since we We'll need to, to parse the rules both when Thunar updates, uh, the title updates, then you know it, it, it uh, pings this update FM script. But also when we create Thunar uh, windows with our launch FM that uh, spawn them with that we run and stuff, that will also need to parse uh, uh, the rules now and apply the rules with the uh, xfconf hidden settings method while when it's updating we use x2 tool so that's we, we will call this parser from two different other scripts that means it's good to have the parser itself in its own script whatever um, okay and this parser will of course parse our d rules file now in the last video we added a bunch of bunch of stuff here to our update fm uh, with the, the searching for this file and stuff let's move all of this file operation uh, for the D rules file into our uh, parse rule script instead because this is uh, wh where it's actually needed okay I wrote down here also some a simple function description of this uh, this parser will match the first argument and against dir pattern and what I mean by that is the first argument against this dir pattern here and the first argument uh, with that I mean the, the argument passed to this script it will become clear soon and print rules and exit on match so that means that um, if if the argument is tilde slash git, then print i and exit the parser. Mm. Parse rules. Yeah, let's test it here again now, uh, as, as is. Now it just cats out the content of, of the D rules file, you know. Um, and we will use awk uh, to, to parse the file. Let's change this and then do this print. And last argument is this file. If we execute the script again, we should get the exact same result because awk will just print every single line here now. First, I guess we should make sure here uh, only compare again against valid lines. And what I mean by that, I think it's uh, it's easy to understand that these lines are comments starting with a hash symbol, uh, so they are not valid lines. This is not a valid line either because it's blank. Uh, so these are the only valid lines. 
uh, lines that doesn't start with a, a pound symbol that are not blank and yeah we can start with that but there are more edge cases and we will uh, this will just be the foundation of this awk script here we will continue to build on it and make it more advanced as we uh, advance in, in this video series but we keep it simple now uh, as simple as possible at least to start with here um, let's do this also I like to do it like this okay mm, to make sure that uh, we don't print any blank lines we could just add a test for uh, dot that means any character so if a line contains any character print it otherwise don't print it if we execute the script now uh, it might be hard to see but now we don't have any empty lines so that's good the other test uh, we needed to to do was uh, make sure that the lines doesn't start with a pound symbol so be, uh, carrot beginning of the line uh, pound symbol boink this should print only the pound symbol lines and not the actual rules themselves we can test that and here it starts and we don't have any rules only only the lines with the pound symbol so what we need to do is invert this somehow, uh, meaning print all lines that, that doesn't start with a pound symbol. We can do that with uh, putting the pound in a character class instead. And when you have it inside brackets like this, then you can re uh, invert the character class by <laughs> adding an, a carrot, which have a different meaning here than here. So this, I know, this looks super strange, strange, but this should actually work. Now it only prints these lines. Let's keep it here in this video. Let's not add uh, the edge cases. For example, if if a line uh, contains only white space, or if if uh, a line starts with line uh, white space and then a pound symbol and stuff. There, there are like edge cases like that that we should uh, include in this uh, parser, but uh, let's not do it in this video. Okay, and as you can see, I only added the criteria here. I don't have to to specify print. The, this will do the same thing because that's the default action. So, so that's what awk does if it if you don't specify an action within uh, curly brackets like this. Uh, next thing now we need to do is compare against um, uh, match the first argument against the deed rules column, meaning and column uh, the deed rules column is column number one. Could also do this to make it clear. Dollar one. Now it only prints uh, those uh, values here. We should also make uh, this uh, parse rules script uh, take an argument. So um, we can just add that here. So target uh, deed is equal to dollar one. Then we can do after the OK just to test this echo target target deed now if we execute parse rules just say target at the bottom here but if we add a, a, an argument argus target argus or if we would print an, an directory here uh, git whatever ah, now it says home but do i already have that conversion here or Ah, no, it expands the tilde. That's interesting. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, we could also, if we wanted to now, because now we will, of course, add this uh, target deed here into awk. So, it will com it will just compare here dollar $1 against uh, dollar uh, or against target deed. So we, let, let, let's do it variable sr search I, I like to do it like this and then target d now we have created a, an awk variable called srch that's available here in the awk loop 
and the content of that variable is target D. So we could add yet another test here to see if search is equal to dollar one, then print dollar one. Uh, and now we shouldn't get anything, I guess. Even if this should actually match uh, the git git line here, but see, as you can see, it expands the tilde when we pass it in like this. So target home boot git. It doesn't print any anything from awk here. Uh, but if we would put this in quotes, now it prints the git line because that matches. But we need to, to take care of this and format this argument a bit. And also if, if we would print this home slash good slash git, that is the uh, absolute path. And you never know, we might pa pass in the uh, value either with a tilde or with, with the absolute path like this. Uh, that doesn't match as well. So let's format this target D variable a bit, but it doesn't really matter if, if it is a directory, if the directory we pass in exists or not. If, if it doesn't match anything on the list, it should just match the default rule, which is a, the period. We get to that. Parse rules. Target D is equal to $1. Okay. Um, we should... If uh, if target deed is a full path like this home bud, then we we um, substitute that with a tilde so so we can use it uh, to match with here later. And that's easy. Uh, we just uh, do a substitution here in at this location and we substitute home with tilde and I think you need to put the tilde within single quotes like this it might work without so now home boot git git it's the absolute path but it still matches now and target is git with the tilde not uh, what we passed in here that's good but what if we pass uh, we add a blank rule here we don't that that's not good because we we need uh, the, this search here, it, it must have a, a value. So we could either add it here or we could add it here, actually. I think that's better. So we can set the default value here, just as we discussed in the last video. And let's, uh, it, it could be whatever. X could be the default uh, value to search here. Um, we do have a problem now, however, if we enter a path here that is not part of our uh, list, like this, we don't get any any anything at all. I should maybe remove this also, or you know what, let's do this, echo after walk, so we don't get confused. Um, because the thing is uh, that it does uh, an exact matching here. This SR uh, search string, it have to match exactly what we have in our D rules. Then it will print a match. But what uh, what's better to do is, or better, but uh, let's do a regular expression match instead against these uh, uh, lines. And then uh, any un, any an, anything will match this period, for example. And we can do other cool things as well, but we get to that. So instead of equal equal, we add a tilde here. And now, now we can see that we get both this uh, tilde, the home directory, the first, maybe we should change this to dollar zero. It will be, it will both match the period, but also match the tilde because uh, uh, now it, it yeah it, it it makes kind of a character whatever match here, and I have found that there are two ways we could could do this uh, to make sure that that uh, it doesn't match uh, any any any. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we could also do one here with git. And that that should print all three here now. Yeah, because it matches git, it also matches home folder because the, those two characters match and period match. 
what we need to do to ignore this home folder except for the home folder itself is to add a dollar sign here and now if I do git it only prints git and the dot and if I do with the uh, home bug that matches uh, the home folder and the dot but I think this is kind of ugly you know then we need to, to add this dollar sign to all directories to make sure that it, that that uh, we don't get the wrong matches. What we could do is add that dollar in our parser instead. And we add that here because dollar one is the same as that column. So if we do this, this should also work. And now it prints home folder, but it also prints the dots because that matches as well. And the way I want the, want this set up is to uh, exit the loop uh, or stop stop comparing uh, directories when it finds a match. So the first find found match, then just print the rule. And that is as easy as uh, exiting here. Exit, and now we should only get one uh, home home folder here. If we do uh, another directory, another. Now it only matches the dot. If we do git, now it matches the git directory. So now it kind of uh, works good enough for, for this video at least. All I will do now is change this to dollar two instead. So now it will only print the rule. And it does. And also let's remove these stupid echo strings from, from the file. And now we have a simple, simple parser here. We will, as I said, extend this uh, in, in future, future videos and make it more foolproof, so to speak, and add more functionality to it. But this is good enough for now. But now this, this is not... Uh, uh, we have to execute this from, from the shell, as you can see. But we could, to test this... Uh, you know, we have our update FM here and we have our Python Thunar IPC here. Um, whenever a Thunar window changes directory, we execute update FM and we send the, the path to the directory to as an argument to update FM. All we need to do here now is to uh, uh, pipe that argument to uh, parse rules in update fm and dollar one you know is the argument we could store this in a variable but let's do this for now save um oops see now the script is running i changed directory here now you can see the i here that stands for icon because we are in the git directory if i go out in the home directory it also prints the i if we go into the bin directory now it prints an L because that matches the, the global uh, rule, so to speak, or the default rule, an I for home directory. So now we, we actually have it working here now, uh, uh, um, so we know which rule to apply. And the cool thing here, still with this setup, uh, is that if I wanted to add more rules to, to this file, for example, uh, we can add one for, for bin here. And we, we, we could type other stuff here, well, since we don't have a <laughs> added the functionality for, 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 for the rules yet. So I go into git, get an i, git i, go out to git, go into bin. Now we get that string, you know, so, so you can add rules uh, without restarting doing anything here really. And we can also test git i. That matches git, but if we go into a subdirectory of git, the, for example bud, then we get an L, because that doesn't match this, it only matches this default rule, L. So now we are getting somewhere, uh, but I think we, we end the video here and continue in the next one uh, and apply these rules. We, we, we will make a quick uh, version of that dirt, dirty dirt hack with x to tool just to see that it works and change uh, from list to icon. But, but then I think I will disable it and, and we will work on that other thing first because that's more stable and 
I don't remember if I mentioned it, but that X2 tool thing, it actually, uh, yeah, that, that creates new issues that we also need to take care of. So whatever, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, have a great day. Bye.